Many nations have adopted one or another form of UAV for surveillance and communication, and a number of them wield drones that can actually fight. Be it using air-to-ground missiles, laser-guided bombs or even experimental air-to-air -air capability, most of today's aerial missions can be performed by drones, prompting a question. How long manned military jets will last before becoming a historical curiosity? Not all combat drones are created equal, though. Some of them are just enhanced versions of surveillance UAV, while others were built to be almost as capable as the most advanced jet fighters. Some have stealth capabilities and can carry an impressive array of weapons. Today we bring you the list of 10 most dangerous military drones in the world. Number 10, Wing Lu 2 Combat Drone. The Wing Lu 2 unmanned aerial vehicle, designed and developed by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, is the advanced version of Wing Lu 1 UAV. The aircraft serves the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Intended for surveillance, reconnaissance, and aerial strike, the drone can carry a maximum external payload of 480 kilograms. It can carry up to 12 laser-guided bombs or missiles, including FD-950 bombs, GB-3 250 kg laser-guided bombs, and TL-10 missiles. The medium-altitude long-endurance mail aircraft can endure for 32 hours and cruise at a maximum speed of 199 k. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 4,200 kg and a service ceiling of 32,480 feet. Number 9, TA Ayaksunga. The TA Ayaksunga is an unmanned aerial vehicle in development by Turkish Aerospace Industries for their Turkish Armed Force. TA Ayaksunga was produced in Turkey as a further development of its smaller predecessors. While still in prototype stage, Turkish Aerospace Industries' experience with TAI Anchor shows that it is capable of producing successful combat male UAVs. What pushes Aksunga above many similar designs is its impressive reported endurance of 40 hours. Using existing technology from the TAI Anchor series of drones, it is the manufacturer's largest drone with payload capacity for mission-specific equipment. It is intended to be used for long-term surveillance, signals intelligence, maritime patrol missions, or as an unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Number 8, Altair Arm Drone. Although in long and turbulent development at least since 2011, this male UAV was revealed during its maiden flight in 2019, and is set for adoption by Russian Air Force in 2021. The manufacturer claims endurance of 48 hours and a payload of 1,000 kilograms, for an aircraft that is itself larger and heavier than most of its competitors. As Altair is supposed to be the name of the development program and Alcius the name of the aircraft itself, but those names are often mixed up even by their manufacturer. Number 7, Heron TP. Heron TP, also known as Iton is an automatic taxi takeoff and landing drone designed and developed by Israel Aerospace Industries. The combat drone is in service with the Israeli Defense Force IDF. It is capable of carrying a maximum payload of 2,700 kilograms, which includes multiple mission systems such as synthetic aperture radar, global system for mobile, communications, GSM, communication intelligence sensors and combat payloads such as guided bombs and air-to-ground missiles. Powered by a single Pratt & Whitney PT-6A 1200 bhp engine, the aircraft can endure for more than 30 hours while flying at a maximum speed of 220 kilotons. The maximum permissible takeoff weight of the aircraft is 5,670 kilograms. Number 6, EADS Barracuda. The EADS Barracuda is a jet-powered European unmanned aerial vehicle currently under development by EADS, intended for the role of aerial reconnaissance and also combat. The aircraft is a joint venture between Germany and Spain. Development of the project was stopped after the first prototype crashed at sea while approaching for landing during a test flight. 
The program was resumed in 2008, with a second prototype being completed in November 2008. The rebuilt Barracuda underwent a series of successful flight tests in Goose Bay, Canada during July 2009, followed by further flight campaigns in 2010 and 2012. The Barracuda is primarily in competition with the Dassault Neuron for strategic and defensive contracts. Both are stealthy and have a maximum air speed of around max 0.85. Not much is known all about their Barracuda, as it is still in development, however, it is thought to have an operating ceiling of around 20,000 feet, 6,096 meters, and carries a maximum payload of 300 kilograms. Number 5. General Atomics Avenger. The General Atomics Avenger, formerly known as Predator C, is a developmental unmanned combat air vehicle built by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the U.S. military. Unlike the previous MQ-1, Predator and MQ-9 Reaper drones, the Avenger is powered by a turbofan engine, and its design includes stealth features such as internal weapons storage and an S-shaped exhaust for reduced infrared and radar signatures. Its first flight occurred on the 4th of April 2009. The Avenger will support the same weapons as the MQ-9, and carry the Lynx synthetic aperture radar and a version of the F-35 Lightning II electro-optical targeting system, called the Advanced Low Observable Embedded Reconnaissance Targeting System. The Avenger will use the same ground support infrastructure as the MQ-1 and MQ-9, including the ground control station and existing communications networks. Number 4. Northrop Grumman X-47. Although the United States had no shortage of stealth drone development programs since the 2000-Boeing Phantom Ray, for example, land-based X-74A and its carrier-based counterpart X-74B deserve mention for pioneering and popularizing the concept, with the X-47 as first flight in 2003. They had quite impressive capabilities. X-47B could carry up to two tons of armament and still take off from an aircraft carrier, but were nothing more than proof-of-concept programs and are now discontinued. Nevertheless, all evidence points at the U.S. Air Force adopting some kind of their more advanced successors, possibly supersonic, possibly combat-capable, most definitely of the same flying wing design, but not much is known about them, save for some names. X-47's spiritual successor is most likely called RQ-180, but although it is used for surveillance at least since 2015, its combat capabilities are undisclosed. Number 3, Sukhoi S-70 Akhutnik B. The first operational Russian stealth combat drone was a continuation of an earlier MiG project called SCAT. The aircraft has a regular AL-31 turbojet engine with an unmodified nozzle, which means partial sacrifice of stealth performance. But what differentiates this UAV from other similar aircraft is its size, almost four times heavier than X-47B and considerably larger. It can carry almost three tons of armament and has an operational range of 6,000 kilometers. A Kudnik is designed to function in tandem with Su-57 fifth generation jet fighter, and is supposed to enter into service with Russian Air Force in 2024. Number 2. BAE Systems Tyrannies. The BAE Systems Tyrannies, also nicknamed Raptor, is a British demonstrator program for unmanned combat aerial vehicle technology, under development primarily by the defense contractor BAE Systems Military Air and Information. The aircraft, which is named after the Celtic god of thunder Tyrannies, first flew in 2013. An unmanned warplane, the Tyrannies is designed to fly intercontinental missions, and would carry a variety of weapons, enabling it to attack both aerial and ground targets. It uses stealth technology, giving it a low radar profile, and is controllable via satellite link from anywhere on Earth. 
an operational derivative of the Tyrannies. The proposed future combat air system was proposed to enter military service after 2030. Number 1, XQ-58A Valkyrie. Valkyrie is the next logical step in the evolution of UAV, designed to serve as a support to the fighter jets relying on either direct control of its man peers or on board AI, it can scout the battlefield, engage the enemy and sacrifice itself to shield manned aircraft. The most impressive part of this whole ordeal is the price, as the drone is supposed to cost just $2 million a piece, on par with cruise missiles and almost nothing compared to actual fighter jets. Being almost as capable as manned fighters, but cheap and easily replaceable, allows an army to produce entire swarms of them, overwhelming any kind of enemy defense. While still in prototype testing stage, Valkyrie is expected to be put into mass production in 2021, defining a picture of future robot warfare. If you enjoyed the video, it would be great if you like, share 